All right, let's continue our journey of Archmash, and uh, yeah, let me just uh, give you some of the challenge and uh, see whether you can make it work. Okay, so I just add a door. Okay, so instead of just you know I'll focus too much on the uh, on the walls, so let's add something more. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, let's just get rid of this uh, door and go, go that uh, from scratch. Okay, so remember. Everything that you're adding right now will be added to your 3D cursor. So even though you want, you know, uh, a door like, like here, you won't be able to do that because the door will automatically uh, show here. So uh, let me show you, okay? So we got a like, room, uh, tool, we got elements, we got a room with column, and if you add this, just a column will appear there, right? And um, you can add say, a door. Okay, I'm not like a only like a Roman style. Okay, so once you add that, uh, you guys can see we got a, like a door group. Okay, basically it's just like empty, going all sort of a mesh. We got like a base, a board. We got a hole. We got a frame. Okay, and everything is connected to this. And if you want to move this, you just need to you know grab this, and say X axis. I can just move it here. Okay. And you might think that, uh, that that's okay because you know I already got this uh, door here, and uh, that will be the end of it. Um, it, it can be the end of well, the uh, door adding process uh, if you are never going to like open this door or not going to animate it or use it again method. But but let me just show you. Okay, so if I just uh, like a got it, uh, like uh, select this and rotate this and that axis yeah the door sort of opens okay the door sort of opens but as you guys can see okay you got the still got a wall inside this is like um you know some fake doors <laughs> uh, uh, so how to solve this problem of course you can manually like a carve a carve a hole inside uh, but uh, that shouldn't be like the uh, like the, the correct way of doing this. So how to do this? You can pause the video and try to solve it and see whether you are using the same method. Okay, so pause it now. Okay, did you do that? Okay, did you do that? Uh, let me show you. Okay, so first you need to know that uh, this is not just a one door that you are adding, but rather you adding a like a, a, a different layer, so the, the like the most like a senior layer will be the parent like empty. Okay, so you got this empty, and you can grab this door around, and uh, um, then uh, you can like a, there is a like empty door group, and inside we got the control baseball. Okay, and with the control hole. Okay, these two controls. Uh, will um, be served as a sort of empty uh, wireframe container that you can use while you want to like uh, a, a bore a, a hole on the wall. Um, so let me show you. Let me show you. So uh, let me just uh, get this and rotate it. And by the way, if you are thinking why is uh, the door rotating, even though I'm not even specified uh, should rotate at that axis, that's because it's kind of uh, being locked. Okay, so another takeaway. So if you want to, you know, rotate it freely, you can just uh, you know unlock this thing, and and R you can rotate it. You know, something like this, like crazy. Uh, but uh, normally, uh, it's preferred to like uh, set this. Um, uh, like the uh, the center point here, and then if I rotate, it's like as if I rotate and dead axis, like rotate only on dead axis, okay? Because it's only dead axis uh, being like released. Of course, you can uh, like make it rotate only on the y axis, something like that. If you're like crazy, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, by the way, um, the only thing that we need to know right now is that uh, right now we need to like a carve a hole. Uh, right now, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wall, it's not a hole. So how to do that? Pretty simple, we can add a Boolean modifier. So basically, everything that inserted inside uh, inside of this wall will have a Boolean modifier and uh, that will carve out the thing. Okay, so uh, I uh, I believe I did uh, like a combine, how to combine like a two mesh in, um, in sculpting. So uh, while I'm sculpting, uh, I usually like uh, 
sculpt different parts and like uh, make them together. And why I want to make it together, I often like like just like insert one object like the hand, insert it into the body. But the, the connecting parts will have a little bit overlap. And uh, uh, if you ignore the overlap and continue to sculpt, uh, or maybe you know you just combine these two or like a two different mesh together, and you ignore what is inside, and they continue to sculpt, you have a big problem because you know it will influence what's inside and the mesh will mess up. So the best way to do this is to add a boolean modifier. So what is whatever is inside will be like deleted, okay? And you can apply the same principle uh, here using arc mesh. So basically, you're going to select the wall rather than uh, select the door because we already got like the uh, control hole as well as the uh, control baseboard, uh, like uh, act as a container. So um, I'm going to just click this and add a modifier, right? Right now the room do not have a modifier, so I'm going to manually add a boolean modifier, okay? Yeah, and uh, we got like an intercept, we got like a uni, we got a difference. Okay, I, I think I already like discussed that in my uh, like uh, 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 different tutorial. Uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is to use a difference, and or, or we can like collection or like object. I'm going to select object because I'm going to uh, like a uh, color drooper, a specific object, and I'm going to see control hole. So use this as a as a reference so you can't do car around but but as you guys guys can see we got like a here we got this uh, like uh, the baseboard is not car around so what i'm going to do is to select this baseboard and i'm going to instead of a solidify modifier i'm going to add a boolean modifier as well object color drooper and i believe we got the, like control holes a baseball, a control baseball. You click it, we just uh, like automatically keep out. Okay, so that's like a like a hard way of doing things. Of course, there is an easy way. Let me just undo everything. Okay, you can just select the wall, and I go to create. And right now, since you are selecting like the room uh, panel, so you can add in the arc mesh room tool auto hook. Okay, you click this, we're automatically done everything for you and if you go to here i'll go to the right side you can see you're automatically adding a boolean modifier and select the control hole as well as a, a you know if you select that like, like the base you got this uh solidify modifier as well as a boolean modifier select the baseball okay so that's the way of doing it so we got a wall a uh, a door uh inserted into our room that's brilliant and uh, yeah, I think that will be all for this video. Hope this video helps and uh, have a great day. And by the way, if you think my video is helpful, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. All right, bye.